Welcome back to College Hill Farm. Well, yesterday I got out and planted our indeterminate tomatoes. Now, it was supposed to be 81 degrees yesterday. According to the weather station on my, at the front of my house, it got up to 91 degrees yesterday. So, yeah. A lot of my plants down through here didn't make it. Okay? 90 degrees, planting fresh transplants out of the bed is bad stuff. Probably 50% are dead. What am I going to do? I'm going to go back down to the bed and get some more. But I'm going to wait till this weather breaks. It's supposed to be 81 today. Uh, but it was just supposed to be 81 yesterday, but it was 91. Uh, I'm going to plant my determinants today. Determinant tomatoes only get about four feet high. I put them on a 30 inch tall cage and they come over the top and almost down to the ground. Now, determinant tomatoes put all of their tomatoes on about the same time. So you harvest them pretty much all at once. You don't harvest them over the course of a year. You harvest them pretty much all at once. Uh, my determinant that I use is Roma. I use the Roma VF Hybrid. Now, how much have these tomatoes cost me? Well, I spent about $2.75 for the compost that went down to keep the weeds from growing up in them. Uh, I harvested the tomatoes. I got about, I've got about 200 of them down there. I'm going to put in about 50 today between 50 and 65 I plant them 18 inches apart uh, or thereabouts okay I don't measure them but I plant them about 18 inches apart and uh, my cages are uh, 18 inches in diameter so that lets the cages almost touch as they go down through there so I've got uh, 50 or 60 plants to put in. Now, it cost me $2.75 and then uh, $3. So I'm, I'm into these and $3 for the packets of the VF Roma seeds, okay? Uh, you can't grow these hybrids yourself. Uh, you can't make them yourself. Uh, these are uh, wilt resistant fusarium and uh, can't remember the name of the other one so that's why I grow them here because this is tobacco country and and there are certain wilts that are that are common around here so I grow the the hybrids of those I don't grow hybrids of my heirlooms I save all my own seed for those so I had to pay for these seed so it's gonna cost me like five dollars for all these seeds for all these plants and I've got probably 200 plants down there so we're talking two cents a plant okay two cents a plant which you know compare that to four dollars for four plants at Wally World okay it's just a no-brainer that you should plant your own now I do not I have not been I have basically quit planting in pots Okay, planting in the little plastic containers. I've basically quit that. Uh, I'll probably go back to it when my greenhouse is done so I can get a little earlier start. But for these bedded plants, I just bed them. And what you see me do, I dig them up, bring them out here to the garden and put them in the ground. Now, I'm going to show you how to plant these romas. Uh, hopefully, it won't get so hot today. Uh, yesterday, it was just brutal. And a lot of these plants didn't make it. Like I said, I probably lost 50%. And I may lose some more today if it does that again. Guess what? I've got 200 or better plants still down there in the bed. Okay? Maybe 300. So it's not a big deal. I can come back and plant some more. Now, Wednesday, this weather's supposed to break. We're supposed to get rain Wednesday morning and Wednesday afternoon. So maybe in the middle of the day, Wednesday, I'll come out here and plant some plants. Okay? And uh, I think they're supposed to be in the 70s for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. 
And then back in the 80s on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, but they're talking rain over Memorial Day weekend. So, yeah, that ought to work out really, really good. So, I'm going to put these in. They might get killed today, or half of them might get killed, or however it is. But I'm going to put these in, and uh, I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay. And yes, before I go out there and start planting, I am sitting in a lounge chair. Okay? Yes, I keep a lounge chair out by my garden. Uh, there's no water out here. I bring water out in five-gallon buckets. All right? I put them in the bucket of the tractor, and I bring them out here, and I set them in strategic places around my garden. So anytime I need water, I can just go over there, open the bucket, and get water. But now, once I once it starts raining and stuff, I don't water. All right, I don't water. So let's uh, get over here and plant some tomatoes. Here are part of my plants. What do I do? Well, I break them apart so that I can get them individually like that. Okay. See this one? This one broke. Nothing you can do about that. Ah, get it out there. That one broke. It's gone. So, now, what do I do? Let me show you. Now, I come up here. Now, putting these in with a stick is not very effective as they are with sweet potatoes and some of the other plants. So it's just as easy to take, kick you a hole, drop your tomato plant in there, cover it, and make it stand up, just leaving the top out of it. Let's do another one. About 18 inches away, Kick the dirt up so that you've got a hole to put it in. Drop your tomato. Fill your hole in and step it in. Now I'll come back and water all those real good. So I've got, uh, well let me show you a bigger one. Right here, I'm going to put in a much bigger tomato. So, I push the dirt in, like that. Dig a little bigger hole. Take the tomato apart. And I'm going to drop it right in that hole. Cover it up. And then make it stand up. Okay? that makes sense? Alright, let's get down through here and plant some tomatoes.
Okay. 50. 4. 55. 55 Romas in the ground. And uh, watered in. Before the sun got on the garden. That's always my plan. Now. If we get another 90 degree day, these ain't gonna make it either, okay? That's the way that works. Now our weathermen seem to be having a little harder time predicting what's gonna happen. I don't know if their models are screwed up or I don't know, okay? So, yeah. If you do transplants like I do, the individual what we call slips or sets uh, this is the way they all came when I was a kid they came in bundles of 25 they had cloth wrapped around them soaked in water and you just took them out made a hole in the ground put them in the ground and then you watered them uh, for the first few days uh, these might make it they might not uh, Wednesday, this this heat is supposed to break. Uh, I probably should have waited till Thursday evening or till Tuesday evening, till this evening, late to come out here and plant them. But yesterday evening, it was still 87 degrees out here in the garden, and uh, I had to come out and water after dark. Okay, because it was too hot for me. So, yeah, May the 21st today. Yesterday was May the 20th and 91 degrees here in central Kentucky. Uh, it's happened before. There were no records set. Uh, but it's just uncommon. Uh, I think 77 degrees is the average, has been the historical average for this time. But that's neither here nor there. What am I going to do? Well, Wednesday, we're supposed to, this weather's supposed to break. And they're saying it might be raining Wednesday morning at 6 a.m. So I may come out tonight if it's not too blasted hot and uh, replace some of these uh, behind me here that didn't make it. Uh, 90 degrees is tough. If you put any kind of, it wouldn't have mattered if they'd have been little pots or whatever. 90 degrees knocks them down so yeah uh, so I'm going to take and uh, come out tonight and water these again all of them uh, right about dusk if it's not too hot if it's too hot I have to wait till dark but anyway and then we'll just go from there now some people say, well, why do you show us if, it's, if, if uh, what you're doing has failed? It's important for you to understand. Homesteading is hard. Okay? Homesteading is hard. If you were trying to uh, produce crops in an extreme environment, it's going to be hard. The learning curve for gardening is way higher than just throwing some seeds in the ground. Okay? You will starve to death in case you have to grow your own food unless you've done it. Okay? That's just the way it is. Uh, so I try and so show you everything. Warts and all. Some things I do great and some things just suck. They don't work out. Some things I've done for 50 years. Others, this is my first time trying them. I've tried every kind of gardening method out there. Go away, mosquito. I've tried every kind of gardening method out there. Nothing puts as much food on my table as traditional row crop. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. People with four, five, ten raised beds are not feeding themselves. Don't be fooled. Now, if you like this stuff, this homesteading, do-it-yourself kind of thing, be certain to come on out to the channel and subscribe. We do this homestead stuff every week, sometimes one, sometimes five videos. Just depends on what's going on in the homestead that week. Now, if you hit the little bell up here when you come to the channel, it'll notify you when we upload a video. We upload on Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Now, with that being said, 
It's time for me to get on to the next thing.